This review is of Brad Thor's 2015 thriller, Code of Conduct, which ironically is very, very timely and rel relevant with what's been going on these past few years. It starts off with Scott Harvath asked to do a favour and check on a doctor who's been working in the Congo. He discovers a chilling video footage of an entire village being wiped out. And a very deadly super virus which which is spreading. And the masterminds behind it, a group of powerful elites who are untouchable, who are using this virus to control the population and set their own scary agenda. This, I found, was very fast-paced, easy to read, and it never, it never really, it never really let up. Brad Thor made a plot that is frighteningly realistic, and who, who knows if it might actually be happening, and why he was why he's still known as the King of Faction, even though this was published in 2015, but it's still one heck of a great read. There's a lot of great action and very unpredictable twists and turns that you won't see coming. And I found it really, 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 really enjoyable. I also felt it kind of also reminded me of Jack Carr's The Devil's Hand, which, as far as I know, both I find are equally as enjoyable. A very, very solid read. Some fantastic characters, especially Scott Harvath. And the Israeli operative, Helena. You don't know what her true intentions are. And a truly, truly evil, evil villain. My next... Re well... I'm going to say, just check this book out. You'll, you'll have a, you'll really enjoy it. Okay, now, my next review, I think, will be another Brad Thor novel, but maybe something a little bit further back. Just watch and stay tuned. Like and subscribe. And also... Like and subscribe the guys for, of the best thriller books. They'll, they'll show you plenty of other good stuff to enjoy as well. Well, thanks for watching and happy reading everyone.